and moving on again we get to oops, this bit uh, which very simply is um, a, a new object called a gate um, and this does what it says on the tin like m many objects you'll find uh, <coughs> it's basically a means of um, stopping or allowing through uh, signals just like a gate would allow you through or not allow you through um, so with a gate um, closed which it is by default um, we uh, we won't get a signal running through it um, with the gate open or on so once again we use a toggle to send a one to the gate in order to send to to uh, tell it to open um, now the message will be allowed through so that I think is a fairly simple concept um, <clears throat> if we move on again and here we combine those various elements that we've just looked at and in doing so we uh, get a very simple step sequencer like thing um, so at the top here we've got um, the metronome which is currently on um, 1000 millisecond um, pulse rate if you like uh, in fact I'm going to reduce that not that it really matters because I could change it in the, the uh, number box above uh, let's put it on I don't know uh, every 140 milliseconds there you go <coughs> so um, Metro provides a, a regular pulse um, and then each pulse is counted by counter uh, so uh, counter counts between 1 and 4 and each beat if you like is um, selected by uh, this select object which we've already looked at um, <coughs> which means as you saw in the um, counter and select example we will get a, a progressive walk through each of these outlets from the select object and these are routed through gates which are either on or off and uh, and then each one of those um, um, gates is routed or from the, well the bangs each bang goes through a, a button in fact this that wouldn't need to be here uh, the buttons are just there to, to show that the signal is either being let through or isn't <coughs> and then from that it's routed into the um, a message box with a 35 in it which is in turn is interpreted by well it's it's sent through a make note object sent to a note out object and thence to um, our um, audio unit synth. Um, so we're going to basically get a bass drum sound um, in a regular pattern. So if I turn the metro on, whoops, I need to lock the patch again. So turn the metro on, and you can see that we're getting a pulse through uh, the select object. Uh, we're not hearing anything yet because we haven't opened any gates, but as soon as we do, there you go. So we're getting uh, a pulse every, uh, well, uh, every first beat of our um, count. And we could do, now we're getting it on the first and third. Um, and now we can start generating a rhythm. Not a very exciting rhythm, but a rhythm nonetheless. Um, so you've built a very, very basic step sequencer from a series of hopefully, well, a series of um, uh, sh small chunks which you hopefully understand. And in fact, this kind of model, the Metro Counter Select um, model, you could use for a variety of different things, and in fact we will do. Um, I think I said it earlier in one of the tutorials that um, uh, it's quite a versatile kind of um, set up this so you could do arpeggiators you could do um, lots of other things um, but l keeping with the step sequencer um, thing um, we could make a more complex step sequencer uh, simply by having uh, by duplicating these gates to make perhaps 16 of them if we were to do that we could make count count between 1 and 16 instead of between 1 and 4 and we could add uh, a number of numbers to the select object which I'll just do now just to show you that you can so if we were to add 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on 
we get extra outputs from the select object. Um, not all objects, I should probably just point out, although you'll figure this out, um, get um, get you know add add outlets based on how many arguments you give some some well most objects in fact you can only give a certain number of arguments uh, but the select objects you can give I think I said earlier about 32 um, arguments and they will give you additional outlets so so now that we've got eight um, I could just copy these just like I did I showed you in uh, our sort of shortcuts tutorial so connect those up that and then this can be connected to 35 that and that one there we go um, and then we'll just need to change our counter from 1 to 8 in this instance but you know you, you could put in more beats if you wanted to so now So you can see you can build up, you know, something much more complex if you wanted to. So yeah, um, I've already done this just to uh, show you, and in fact, it should uh, it should be on the uh, Must website. Um, so I'll open that. Just close that down. I don't think I need to save it. I don't need to save it. And open. Step sequencer. I'll probably call it something different on the website so that you can so it makes it a bit more a bit more intuitive. Right there it is. Um, it looks quite complicated, um, and in fact it's a bit ugly because uh, the I, I did this in Max Four. Whoops, I did this in Max Four where um, uh, the size of the objects is slightly different. There you go. So I changed that and it looks a little bit neater. So I'll just do this very quickly. Ah, that's something else actually. You can resize objects by, uh, um, well, you'll see if you go to the left, right hand, sorry, bottom right hand side of an object, you get a little box, which I don't know whether you can see on the YouTube video, um, but that enables you to resize the object. And by selecting several of them and just choosing one of the objects, it just, you know, it, it resizes all of them. Uh, I can do the same with the gate up here. For some reason, it's only the gates that seems to cause a problem there. Anyway. Uh, <coughs> oh yes, in the comment boxes. There we go. Um, so th we've basically got exactly the same model as you saw before. Uh, there's just a few extra bells and whistles on here. Um, we've got a metro here uh, with a toggle to tell it to turn on and off. We've got a counter object. This time uh, you might remember I said that if you add a third argument it tells you which direction the counter will count in. Um, at the moment it's in zero, which means it'll count upwards. If I put it to one, uh, this first argument, it would count downwards. So it would go 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, and so on. Down to one and then go back to 16. And if I were to do, uh, if I were to put two in, uh, it would count one to 16 and then back to one again. Uh, as in, you know, it would, uh, one to 13, 14, 15, 16, 15, 13, 14, 13, and, and so on. Select object, uh, select has just been um, uh, abbreviated to SEL, so cell. Uh, there are a few objects you can abbreviate, but not many. Um, and this time, as I say, we've got 16 uh, numbers in there, 16 arguments. And what I've done is, I've, uh, but otherwise the model is exactly the same, and I've just duplicated it, as you can see down here. Um, <clears throat> If you're wondering what this bit is up here, that's just a means of converting uh, BPM to um, to milliseconds. So we just it's just a way of of, of deciding um, or converting to a more useful um, uh, timing thing that it's going to be more more um, you're going to be more familiar with. Uh, blah, 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 down here, we're just using send and receive. We'll, we don't need to worry too much about this at the moment, but send and receive objects are can be used instead of, if you like, physically attaching objects. Um, so in, instead of, as you can see, f connecting things. Oh, damn. Um, okay, I'm going to have to finish this in another tutorial. Bear with me.